Hi everybody, it's Brandon again. I got a request to see how to get Spotify on Chrome OS Flex. Now, just so you know, this is my third time recording this video. I've gone through the process twice, and so I'm pretty good at getting it set up now. And each time, my recording stopped when I was screen recording on my laptop, and I found out why. As soon as you open Spotify, it stops your screen recording, and it says it won't screen record protected content. So I'm just gonna record it with my phone here. So let's just get to it. Okay, there's two ways to install Spotify. You can either do the progressive web app, which is what I would do, or you can download the Linux edition, which requires you to have the Linux development envir environment set up on your Chromebook. To uh, do the way that I prefer, the progressive web app, you just go to Spotify, like normal, their website. And then down at the bottom, go to web player after you're signed in. Or I guess the address is just open.spotify.com. And normally up here, this button, if you do not have it installed yet, will, there will be an install button that you can just click on. Or you can click on the three dots of Chrome and there will be an install Spotify. And once you have it installed, it just looks like this. Pretty much what you'd find on the regular Spotify client. Now, this is what I always do. I think it works just as good. And the reason why is because I'm pretty sure the real app that you download is just an Electron app, which is uh, basically a web app packaged as a desktop application. So it's a huge download for pretty much the same thing you're going to get on the PWA there. But if you want to install it, and I'm going to put these commands in the uh, description of this video. I got this from the Spotify Linux download site. You're going to follow the instructions for installing on Debian, which involves adding these two repositories, which you just copy and paste these lines into your terminal, which I've already done. And then you install it, which I also have already done. And after you go through that, you'll get the Linux version of Spotify, which in my opinion just opened and crashed right away. Okay. So it's not even opening right now. Uh, it did work for me earlier, but um, I couldn't remember my login since on the web app, Chrome remembered my login for me. So anyway, there, there might actually be problems with the Linux edition, but um, it did work for me earlier. So anyway, there you go. That's how you get Spotify on your Chrome OS device or Chrome OS Flex, which is what we're dealing with here. As I said, I recommend just installing the progressive web app. Chrome OS is made for web apps. They work pretty good on this system and um, I've always liked the Spotify web app better than the native app ever since they made it into a PWA that you can install. The Linux client might have troubles with it. It just crashed for me. I know there's also a Linux flat pack and you can check out my videos on how to get flat packs working if you just don't like the PWA. But yeah, in my opinion, most of these apps, when there is a PWA available, I always default to that. They're usually better. Most of the desktop apps like Spotify or just a uh, the web app wrapped in Electron anyway, which I'm not against that. I've released some Electron apps myself, but it is what it is. So anyway, that's how you do that. It's, like I said, this is my third time making this video, so it's the last one's a little shorter and sweeter, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you your question was answered, and if there's other stuff you want me to test, just let me know in the comments. Until then, I hope you all have a good day. Bye now.